Internet, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my vertical planner flip through video for you. I think I've done this every year for the last two or three years, so I thought can't break with tradition, even though this year is going to be a little different because I'm actually going to have to flip through two planners. Um, around halfway through the year, I ended up moving over to my Whistle & Birch planner. So my Erin Condren Life Planner is going to have from January to around June, I think June-ish, we'll see, in Erin Condren. There's going to be a few weeks missing because that was the transitional period where I wasn't really sure what to do. And then um, the rest of the year from July onwards is going to be in my Whistle & Birch. So, I won't babble much longer because um, <laughs> these videos do tend to get a little long. This is what the monthly view look like. I will zoom in as much as possible so you can see everything. Um, I've had this system for four to five years now. I color code the different brands I have online and I like to mark down when I do blog posts, when I upload videos, when I have releases in my Etsy shop and also when I post on Instagram. So this is pretty much, it gives you a view as to how busy I was online. So this first kit, and I think I'm actually gonna use the same kit for my first spread in my new Whistle & Birch Planner for 2021. I renew this kit every year, just I update the year, but I just love how happy and vibrant and bright this particular spread is. So yep, welcoming in the new year. Last day of my holidays, very sad, yes. And then I don't think I'm going to be able to name all the shops because I'm most likely going to forget, but I will name the ones I can remember. And then this one is a Hello Petite paper kit. Um, I'll just flip through and if there's anything significant about the week, like I had a house, like technically a housewarming because I owned my house probably for about six months at that point. It was still very old and that it was pre-renovation days, but my friends wanted to come and see what it looked like before I started renovating it. So that is what happened then. This I think is a glam planner kit. So nothing much happened here. Uh, Scribble Prints Co. Kit. Love this one. I think this was based, oh no, it says Magic Spells. I was gonna say, I thought this was a Mean Girls inspired kit, but I think it's a Harry Potter inspired kit. Then we move on to February. As you can see, a much quieter month, wasn't as active online. So here we welcome the new Lunar New Year with the Year of the Rat. Um, did I mark down which actual day it was? I don't know if I did, but it was also Australia Day, which means we got a public weekend, which is great. And I've actually released a 2021 version, Year of the Ox, which is my shop, which is probably what I will use next year. This is another Hello Petite paper kit. And you can see I kind of really got into this foiling where I was like overlaying stickers on other stickers just to get that foil effect. And I really love that. I think I should do that again this year. Um, then, so this is the Valentine's kit. This is one that's available in Happy Cloud, which is my sticker shop. Um, Again, nothing, I'm going to think that this year is going to be pretty uneventful given the state of everything. I don't think there's going to be any major um, events to announce, but anyways. Um, this one is actually a Simply Gilded kit. So I do try to use my Simply Gilded kits in my vertical planner where it makes sense, but I don't know if I've really gotten the hang of it yet and really worked out how I want to do the planning because I just kind of fluff about as best I can and fingers crossed but also what I find is that my gel pens don't work really well on the stickers themselves. The stickers have this sort of varnish on top of them so I feel like I need to use permanent marker in order for it to stick because if I put gel ink on it it smudges really badly. Um, you can see here it smudged really badly when I tried to denote dinner and karaoke so that's kind of the downside of the Simply Gilded stickers. And that's the end of February, so now we move on to March. And again, a pretty quiet month, content-wise. And so this one, I think, is actually a Squirrel Prince Co. kit. I love this one, it's so beautiful. This one, I actually can't remember. Although when I see it, I will know. Um, the significance of this week is that this was essentially the last time I saw pretty much any of my friends in person up until December when lockdown was officially ended because this is when COVID was really starting to pick up. And um, yeah, I remember James' birthday was that the last time. 
And then this one is Stick With Me. Um, it was their Japanese kit, which I really loved. They didn't have a bottom washi, so I got to use washi tape again, which was really fun. And I think we started working from home at this point on, and I've pretty much worked from home ever since. Uh, again, I don't remember the kit, the sticker company for this one. If I, I will do my best to try and link as many of them down below so you can check them out. I'm actually pretty happy with all the shops that I've tried. And this is a Hello Petite paper. You guys are going to see reoccurring shops. If you've watched my previous flip through, it won't come as a surprise at all. And then that is the end of March. So then we move into April. April, slightly busier month, a little more active. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is actually a... This is actually a... Sim no, this is actually a Scribble Prints Co. kit, but... A really really old one that she probably had four to five years ago I this year I've spent quite a lot of time trying to get through all the old kits that I have I still have quite a few old ones I need to get through they're just not very time appropriate that's why I've been holding on to them like I might have a few for Halloween but Halloween is really only one week a year so I don't get to use all of them but anyways first of all problems for sure and you can see it's kind of a mishmash because I've got Hello Petite paper sticker here, and a few other like full boxes. Uh, I think all the full boxes were from School Prints Co, but some of the half boxes maybe not. I'm not sure. I remember having to look into my scrapbook to fill it out. So this is my Happy Cloud Ink Easter kit, which I use to celebrate Easter, Good Friday. And this one is another Scribble Prints Co, but this is a more modern Scribble Prints. You can really tell the evolution of her stickers, but there's still some um, similarities between the original stickers and the current stickers, which I really love so that you can still see that sort of DNA in her brand. This one, I can't remember the brand, but it was the same brand that did that yellow and blue kit that I had before. Now we move on to May. May was a very busy content month. I, I go through spurts. Um, most of what you see here is blog posts. So sometimes I get really into blog posts and then other months, nothing. And then I'm just all about YouTube. That is my inability to be consistent. Um, so this one, I also still don't remember the shop's name, but I do remember using this kit because I was really missing travel at this point. So this is end of May, starting June. And we had already had to cancel one trip that we had fully booked, paid for everything, and so we were in the process of getting all the refunds that we could. Luckily, we were refund, I'd say probably 90%, because we'd booked it well at the start of 2019, because that's how far in advance I like to book things. So there was no way we'd know about the pandemic at that point, so that's why they were very gracious in refunding us all our money. And I still do miss travel quite a lot. So this is another sim uh, Simply Gilded kit. I don't remember the name of it. But you can see, it's like, um, I think I'm okay with planning them, but I don't feel super confident. I still look at this and I'm like, mm, it doesn't feel very cohesive. I don't know what you guys think. Maybe I'm being too hard on myself, or maybe you agree <laughs> that it's a, an atrocious looking spread. But um, I did have to use stickers from my own shop and a few other shops just to fill out the spread to the level that I prefer to plan at. So this is a Hello Petite paper kit which I love. I love these colors. I love, I love pink, which I love. It's so cohesive. And this, I think, is a Scribble Prints Co. kit. I'm pretty sure. Because sometimes I get confused with what was Glam Planner and what was Scribble Prints, because they used to be quite similar, but I think they've kind of diverged a little bit in recent years. And this is uh, Tam's visit. So this was actually our renovator coming to visit us. This is when we were starting to really design our renovations and what it's going to look like. This, I think, is actually a Two Little Bees kit, but a very old one from probably four years ago. So I had to kind of fill it in with a bunch of other stickers from other brands, which is fine because I actually I quite like it. It looks quite cohesive to me. I liked how it turned out. June. Okay, so this is the more... I'm not sure if I actually put stuff down or not because this was around the time I was moving out of the Erin Condren Life Planner. 
Um, so we were getting some Renaults done. This is from Happy... Happy... This is from Hello Petite Paper. Yep, from Hello Petite Paper. And I'm just kind of like peering over the edge to see. This, I think, is a Glam Planner kit. A pretty old Glam Planner kit. Um, all dedicated to Venice. And it was a Queen's birthday, so it was a short week. Okay, yeah. I think this was pretty much this and the next one was the last spread that I did in my Erin Condren Life Planner. So this is a strawberry kit from a shop called Little Paper Prints. And unfortunately, she doesn't seem to be open anymore. I have been revisiting her shop for the last six months trying to order more kits because I'm such a big fan of her work. But the shop seems to be closed down. I don't know why her Instagram has gone dead. Um, it makes me really sad because I think her kits were amazing, but she just, uh, for whatever reason, doesn't want to sell them anymore. So uh, I think I have one, do I have one more? I think I have one more of her kits, which I'm going to save for next year. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, you can see a lot of emptiness because I wasn't really motivated to plan anymore after everything that happened. I think it was a really tough time for people in the planner community, especially because so many of us connected over the Erin Condren Life Planner. And... The product itself is still a really good one. Like that's one thing that always makes me a little sad is that I really love the product itself. But it is what it is. I hold no judgment to people who still want to use Erin Condren Life Planners because we all have our own path to follow. This was just my choice and I'm happy with what I've moved on to and it's forced me to try new planners. But looking back on this, I'm kind of like, oh, this is like, I really miss this planner. It was such a nice planner to be in. So this was the other week. Um, that's the other thing I really love about the little paper prints is that her kits were able to span two weeks. I just felt that was good value for money because her kits weren't that expensive either. So yeah, I'm really sad that her shop isn't selling anymore, but you can see it's such a beautiful strawberry kit. So that was pretty much it for the Erin Condren Life Planner. Oh, if, is it, even the cover is amazing. I just love it. Oh, gonna miss it so much. So then I ended up discovering Whistle & Birch online. I think it was a recommendation that I saw on Instagram, so I decided to check it out. And I've really enjoyed living in my Whistle & Birch. And I've really enjoyed living in my Whistle & Birch. There are so many alternatives. I know a lot of people went over to the Cloud Planner, the Aurora Cloud Planner. There is a Light Paper Action, so many other brands. And it really made me think about how many brands we've been excluding or not focusing on because we were so obsessed with the Erin Condren Life Planner. And it's kind of nice to see other planners in the community now getting a little bit more face time. Um, oh yeah, Happy Planner is a big one, but I don't get that because it's not as easy to get in Australia. That's much more an American planner. Plum Paper Planner is another one. Man, I could go on. Like, I think there was about 15 to 20 different very similar vertical planners to look at. Anyways, July. This was July. I went really ham on Instagram for a while and I was pretty much, you know, I think I was pretty on point with my schedule with the planner channel. You can see that I put a lot of effort into maintaining a good schedule with my planner channel and my travel channel, but my vlog channel and my main channel, mm, not so much. So I decided to start this spread off with a Coffee Monster Co. kit. I don't often use her kits. She doesn't actually have that many. I, I much prefer her emojis over everything else. So she's not really the shop I look to for kits, but this kit was just so amazing. It really spoke to me. And I think I actually ordered this another time. So I do have an extra one to get through. And it felt appropriate because it was a fresh start. And this was a fresh start for me. So, yep. This one, um, oh, I can't remember the name. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's a really popular one on Instagram. It's one I discovered by looking at other people's spreads in my feed. Really love her kits, such good quality. Oh, and this one is my own kit. It is a Melbourne themed kit, sold in Happy Cloud Ink. It's very, very um, strong colors. Yeah, really strong colors. This one, I think, is an extremely old kit from Glam Planner, like four or five years old, near the start of her whole shop journey because of just the format of this kit. But, I mean, I can't deny cats. I love cats. This one is another old kit from a shop. I think this is an Australian-based sticker shop, but I can't remember the name now. 
I actually don't even know if they're open anymore. That was the downside of using some of my old kits is a lot of those shops have closed up and so I feel kind of like I want to use the kits obviously for myself but if I show them on Instagram or in video I can't like people can't buy them anymore so it's always like a dilemma. So that was the end of that and then we moved on to August. By the way for those of you who are curious if you have a Whistle and Birch you may be wondering um, I actually sticky tape these pages together so that when I pull the tab I go straight to the monthly view. I There's no value in seeing this page, this dashboard for me. A absolutely none. So that's why I sticky tape them together. Um, so it just makes my usage much easier. But yeah, August. I was really on point. Like I was doing releases in the shop. I was uploading videos in time. It makes me proud to see this. <laughs> So this is another Coffee Monster Co. kit. I think this was a self-care kit. And I love, her kits are actually very simplistic. They're only over a few pages, whereas some other kits, they're over like five or six pages, kind of similar to my kits. They're much more extensive, but she gives you just enough to do everything you really need and nothing more. And I kind of like that. Ah, so I think this was a Glam Planner kit pretty sure. I remember buying this kit and then there was a foiled full box version that you could apply over the top so I'm not sure if it's visible but there's like oh there we go you can see this foiling over all the full boxes and that was like an extra add-on I had to buy so that I could get the foiling on. I obviously well not obviously but I didn't do it for all the kits I bought because it does make it very expensive but I wanted it to do but I wanted to do it for just one kit to see what it was like um, and it's really pretty but I probably wouldn't do it again because I don't feel like I really got much value out of it. Like even now looking at it, I don't see the foiling as obviously as I was hoping it would be. So that's just my two cents. So this is my own kit. It is an autumn kit. The artwork, by the way, was done by Violet Lebeau, who I will link down below as well. Um, I have not been releasing kits for the longest time, for like ages really, for over a year. So this was the first kit I've released since that whole period and I'm really hoping to release many more in 2021 just because Violet's already done all the artwork. Literally I have probably 20 more kits I can release that she's done the work for so I'm like I should release them because I want to be able to use them as well. This is another shop that I can't remember but I do love her stickers. I think she's known for doing really amazing foiling and you can see she's got some great foiling on here. Um, another shop that I can't remember. So I'm going to go into a bit of a foggy phase where I'm using quite a few new shops and I think that's why I don't remember them because they're quite new and they haven't stuck in my mind. I think some are like, I just remember the words like pretty, chic, something like that in the names. But yeah, another beautiful, beautiful spread. All right, now we move into September. Very consistent with my video upload if I do say so myself. Then this one... Hmm. This is not Scribble Prints or Glam Planner, which is usually the default. But something about it kind of... This is a little paper prints. That's why, yeah. So this is a little paper prints kit, but one of her newer new formats. So the strawberry one I showed before, that was an old format kit. This is the new one. And yeah, I love her kits. They're so amazing. I just... I don't know if she's ever watching, but if you are, please open up your shop because your shop is amazing. <laughs> Um, I don't remember this shop either, but again, another beautiful kit. Uh, and again, I don't remember the name of this shop either. This kit I'm not as big of a fan of in the end. Um, I don't know, it just seems a little bit too plain. I just, this one seems a little more contrasty for me. And this one is the same shop that did, let me see if I can pull it up so... Hopefully it triggers for some people, but I will look it up after this video. Same shop that did this one, I think. Did this one, yeah. This is such a beautiful kit. I have to hold myself back from trying to reorder some of these kits that I love because I do want as many spreads as possible to be as different each year, but very tempting. <laughs> okay, so then, all right. October, a little less consistent, but still doing okay. So I think this is a Scribble Prints Co. kit, but a 
older one, like from a subscription box probably two to three years ago. So the titles are a little different, structure's a little different, but it still has that CP, still has that SPC DNA in it. I, that's how I'll call it. This is a Glam Planner kit, another really old kit that I either purchased at a discount or I had it in my box for a long time. I can't quite remember because I remember using this kit one other time. So I think I must have picked this one out because it was like 50% off and I was like, why not? It's blue. I like blue. I think this is the Scribble Prints Co. kit. And we finally got our AFL public holiday. If you live in Melbourne, you know exactly what I mean. We have public holidays for horse racing, football, but this year we moved it um, into October. It's usually September. We moved it into October because we were in like severe lockdown during August and September where you literally couldn't leave your home unless it was for groceries, um, work, medical reasons, and one hour of exercise and only one person per household could leave once a day. So it was pretty strict, the rules that we had. But we've come out the other side of it now and it's just amazing that we can like freely go out, eat, do whatever, visit each other. And yeah, it makes me super grateful when I think about it because I know that so many other parts of the world are not able to do that right now. So this is my blue Halloween kit. It's probably my favorite Halloween kit that I've ever released in the shop. Um, it's probably because it's blue. <laughs> Let's be honest, it's probably because it's blue. But yeah, I was really sad about this year's Halloween because I wasn't able to do my niece's makeup. I didn't do it in 2019 because I was in New Zealand at the time. 2018, I made her a skeleton. This year, I think she really wanted me to do her makeup, but because we were in lockdown and we weren't allowed to visit our friends and families, I couldn't go over to her house to do it. So hopefully for 2021, I'll get to do it if she's still interested in Halloween. So I started being a little bit more flaky with my upload schedule and it's only because December started to get really crazy. As you guys know, I've been uploading a lot more on this channel in December, but I will slow down significantly once January comes. So this is that same shop I was showing you before. Aren't her kits amazing? Like this kit is just to die for. She's so talented. This is a Hello Petite paper and her kits are always amazing. I did a really big order for um, Black Friday. I still don't have the order, but I actually still don't have most of the orders I placed in America. That's just how it is when you order stuff from America and you live in Australia. And then this is another Simply Gilded kit. So I guess in 2020 I used three different Simply Gilded kits to do spreads in. And I think like when I look at this one, I actually feel a little more confident with it. I think I did a better job and that's probably because I ended up mixing up stickers from other brands to just make it a little bit more my style of planning so that's probably a good lesson learned for next time when i use a simply gilded kit and this one is a coffee kit so you would have seen me actually use this i actually do the sticker haul for this earlier in december this is an australian i think it's an australian sticker shop i'm not quite sure but um yeah i don't personally drink coffee but I like the aesthetics, so that's why I went with it. And this is another new kit, or new to me shop from Australia. Very, very pretty, and I mean, it's warming up into December, so it felt very appropriate. Okay, so I'm not gonna show you the December monthly view because I'm still working through that at the moment, and I don't want you to see the videos coming up, but, so we'll just skip right over that. But this is now December. Um, so this is very sunflower, fresh, basically the weather that we have right now. The year is coming to an end. This I think is for Mum and Me hand designs because I'm pretty sure I filmed a plan with me featuring this. I think. Pretty sure I did. Yeah. I just edited it like a week ago. But because I upload like three to four videos a week now, it feels so long ago. And this is the current week that we're in. This is a very old kit from a shop that I don't use anymore and I can't remember the name. I've had it for three to four years, but it's a very Christmassy kit. Um, I think it's Caress Press. That's right, Caress Press. That's her shop. I don't order from her just because the shipping is huge, but also I, I'm i not a fan of the sticker paper. It's quite thick and I've been mostly gravitating towards thinner sticker paper, so that's the main reason, but her designs are amazing and I still love her so much. 
And that is pretty much it. Um, I'm going to start the following week, which next week is going to have the start of January for 2021. So I'm going to actually start that in my new Whistle and Birch. And I will probably do a journal with me with that. So hopefully you'll see that in another week or two. But yeah, that is pretty much my whole 2020 vertical planner flip through. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for sticking around. I know it's a really long video and I need to go get a drink of water now. So yes, thank you so much for watching. This is Selena reporting from my room. Back to internet. Mm -hmm.